The Internet in Poland was used by 82% of the country's household in 2017. Facts and figures Top-level domain, place Internet users, 25.0 million users, 21st in the world, 65.0% of the population, 19th in the world 2012. Fixed broadband, 6.4 million subscriptions, 17th in the world, 16.6% .6 of the population, 54th in the world 2012. Wireless broadband, 18.9 million subscriptions, 16th in the world, 49.3% of the population, 33rd in the world 2012. Internet hosts, 13.3 million hosts, 12th in the world 2012. IPv4, 19.4 million addresses allocated, 21st in the world, 0.5% of the world total, 505.9 addresses per 1,000 people 2012. The main reason for not having access to the Internet at home 70.6% of households indicated no need to use it The first analog Internet connection was launched on September 26, 1990 and had a speed of 9,600 bits per second. The Nuclear Physics Institute in Krakow on 19 November 1990 received the first IP address in Poland assigned to it by United States Department of Defense. On November 20, 1990 CERN was sent the first email to Poland and received it by this institute using the Microvax 2 computer. Topic Pricing. According to an OECD report, in September 2012, the price of internet access in Poland ranged from 45 cents to $127.12 USD PPP per megabit per second of advertised speed. This places Poland in the middle of the pack on the low end, 18th lowest out of 34 countries, and at the top on the high end, second highest behind New Zealand at $130.20. This compares with ranges of $0.40 cents to $23.25 for Germany, $0.40 cents to $12.35 for the Czech Republic, and $0.53 cents to $41.70 for the US according to Eurostat, OECD and others, Internet access in Poland is among the most expensive in Europe. This is mostly caused by the lack of competitiveness and lack of know-how. New operators like Dialog and GTS Energies are making their own provider lines and offer more attractive and cheaper service. In February 2011, the Polish Office of Electronic Communication issued an order forcing the TPSA to rent 51% of their ADSL lines to other ISPs at 60% discount of their market pricing. As the result the prices are non-competitive, other ISP charge as TPSA making a guaranteed 40% profit, while TPSA has no incentive to lower its consumer prices, because it would result in lowering of wholesale prices as well. ADSL The most popular ADSL services for home users in Poland are Neostrada provided by TPSA and Net24 provided by Nisha. Both provide download speeds in the range of 10 to 80 megabits per second and upload speeds of 1 megabit per second or more. Business users as well as some home users use Internet DSL TP also offered by TPSA. Neostrada 
ADSL service is offered by Neostrada. Topic: <laughs> Internet DSLTP. There is another ADSL option available, targeted mainly at business clients, called Internet DSLTP. The link availability is guaranteed plus offers static IP address and a modem with Ethernet interface. Net24 ADSL service called Net24, provided by TP's main competitor Nisha. The service can be installed on ISDN lines. Nisha also offers ADSL Biznanet24 and SDSL Supernet24 subscriptions for business customers, which offer static IP address and higher speeds. Nisha does not offer its own lines and depends on TPSA lines. Topic Multimo ADSL service called Multimo, provided by GTS Energies for TP customers via Bitstream access. <laughs> Dialnet DSL ADSL service called Dialnet DSL, provided by Dialog now bought by Nisha. Cable Cable providers such as UPC, Multimedia, Vectra and Aster offer triple play services. UPC As of 5 August 13, UPC has upgraded its «fiber power» Internet service to higher speeds, offering Internet with download speeds from 10 megabits per second up to 250 megabits per second, making UPC one of the fastest ISPs in Poland. The top tier 250 20th of a megabit per second, is limited to selected locations, Warsaw, Gdansk, Katowice and Krakow. UPC wants to buy multimedia third largest cable operator. Aster Aster used to provide triple play to many cities in Poland, especially Warsaw and Krakow with speeds ranging from 1 megabit per second to 120 megabits per second. On January 2, 2012, Aster merged with UPC. As a result, every service was bumped into the higher tier and the daytime half-speed throttling has been removed. topic HETAN HETAN provides stationary internet via satellite to whole Poland for private and business customers with speeds ranging from 10 megabits per second to 20 megabits per second in download and from 2 megabits per second to 6 megabits per second in upload HETAN launched its services in August 2011, and is since then market leader in providing Internet via CA satellite services to private households and SMEs in Poland. HETAN is largest reseller of two-way, Skylogic services in Poland and does represent as well Hylas, Avanti. KORBANK KORBANK provides triple play, especially in FTTX or EV technology. 
The firm allows subscribers to connect and use computer-based telecommunications networks using independent Internet connections boasting high quality and transmission capacity, digital telephony and new generation TV. Operations focus on Lower Silesia and Masovia regions, where telecommunications services are offered to both retail and business clients. KORBANK is also founder of the first in Europe IPTV platform based on Unicast protocol, Avios. <laughs> Internet censorship and surveillance The government does restrict access to the Internet by using a black registry of Internet sites, the PIES party deems unlawful, but there are no credible reports that it monitors email or Internet chat rooms without appropriate legal authority. The Constitution guarantees freedom of expression and forbids censorship. Libel remains a criminal offense, but possible penalties were reduced in 2009. The law no longer prohibits most arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence, and the government does not always respect these prohibitions in practice. The law allows electronic surveillance for crime prevention and investigation. There is neither independent judicial review of surveillance activities nor any control over the use of information obtained by monitoring private communications. A number of government agencies have access to wiretap information. <laughs> During civic platform government In early 2011, Internet censorship legislation that included the creation of a registry of blocked web sites was abandoned by the Polish government, following protests and petitions opposing the proposal. In 2011, the Office for Electronic Communications reported that law enforcement agencies requested access to telecommunications data, including call logs, telephone location, and names registered to specific numbers 1.8 million times, an increase of 500,000 over the number of requests in 2010. In January 2012, thousands protested Prime Minister Tusk's signing of the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement ACTA establishing international standards for enforcing intellectual property rights, accusing it of facilitating Internet censorship. And in February Tusk suspended ACTA's ratification because his government had made insufficient consultations before signing the agreement to ensure it was entirely safe for Polish citizens. In September 2012, the creator of the website Anticomer.pl that satirized President Komorowski was sentenced to 15 months of restricted liberty and 600 hours of community service for defaming the president. During law and justice government Since the law and justice taking charge of the Polish government, it enacted several laws, of which the anti-terrorism laws, passed and enacted in 2016 allow blocking access to Internet content deemed by the party as unlawful. There were several incidents of Polish police arresting IP addresses of people suspected of illegal activity against the state, and other attempts have been made in blocking content that was critical of the right-wing government. However, the Polish finance ministry had gained legal power to block the internet sites of people, corporations, and others involved in illegal economic fraud, unlicensed gambling, and offering services the Pies Party or the Polish Roman Catholic Church consider inappropriate or illegal, which lead to a creation of a black registry of sites that all telecoms and ISPs are obligated to block under heavy financial penalties. 
Traditionally the Polish government views Internet as a mere telecommunications medium, it also continues to promote rapid informatization of the Polish society, while adopting legal measures that allow to nationalize all parts of the IT infrastructure, including the electronic devices used to access the Internet. With the re-appeal of the net neutrality by FCC in the US, the PIES government moved more openly towards limiting access only to content approved by the party, thought the finance ministry officially backed down from trying to establish another central black registry of unlawful domains and services, that would greatly increase the types of sites and services that could be blocked by the party, they could gain this ability by default due to the new EU copyright bill that is being discussed in the European Parliament, of which the PIES party is a strong public opponent of. See also CERT Polska – Computer Emergency Response Team for Poland Media of Poland Telecommunications in Poland